this place called uh, Hamanissima in, in uh, Barcelona. Um, I think we both learned a lot about each other. I learned that I like this guy because he liked pork and he <laughs> seemed to make some basic decisions about me because I got, you know, I saw him rubbing this ham. Here's the world's, you know, it's the hardest to get reservation in the world. Um, the world's maybe most scientific seeming chef, the most precise and possibly sterile seeming chef. And yet here he is rubbing ham on his face to show me that mm. fat dissolving at room temperature, precisely, oh. precisely body temperature. Oh. Uh, I, I think the real answer is, is there anything more fundamental to appreciating, to, to Spanish cuisine, and to whether or not you're ever going to get it? You, you, you know, no one's ever going to get Ferran Adria. I don't like a lot of the molecular gastronomy people. I don't, I don't like most of them. Just because you like Jimi Hendrix doesn't mean, mean you should try to play guitar like Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> Ferran is like Jimi Hendrix, but he's, a, he's Spanish. He's, he's Catalonian. And, and at all times, those flavors, those ingredients, those traditions are fundamental to what he's doing.